Coming up on this week's episode of Learning to Fly, I take the Kemble Flying Club C42 out for the first time since lockdown has eased, and I hear the words that nobody wants to hear on the radio. I've crashed. I also head into one of the most beautiful airstrips in the south, and the C42 didn't want to land. If you like what you see, click subscribe and hit that notification bell. I really want to grow the channel so I can attempt to get content out every week. And thank you for watching. Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly. Today, I'm flying down to West Tisted. So from Kemble, you kind of go overhead Popham and down meeting a couple of friends there, socially distanced, of course, and really looking forward to it. So thanks for joining me. Kemble traffic, Golf, Charlie Alpha, entering runway 26 hard via Alpha 3. Okay, so runway, compass is in line with the runway. We've got our abort point. Under 500 feet, we'll continue ahead, probably land on the runway. Above 500 feet, we'll turn around and make an emergency landing. The wind is slightly from the right, but not much. And I'm happy. Flaps are set. We're ready to fly. Let's go. Campbell traffic, Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha's taking off runway 26 hard. So, RPM max. Acceleration normal. Airspeed's active. There we go. One hundred feet. Two hundred feet. Flaps away. Keeping a good look out. Just trim it slightly. Q and H one zero three five. Look at that. Level up at 3,000 feet. Kemble traffic, Golf, Char Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha is leaving the zone to the south. Fantastic. Look at those lakes, beautiful. Basically just in a straight line now. So we're above 3,000 feet. Landing light can come off, fuel pump can come off. That's good, don't need any cabin heat today. Strobe's on. And uh, aim right and touch. So we're going to be routing today, overhead Popham pretty much, and then just keep going in that sort of southeasterly direction where we get to a place called West Tisted, which is hard to say. <laughs> West Tisted. So it'll be changing to safety calm at some point, and yeah, West Tisted. Yeah, great. On your checks, we'll do a freeder in a moment. Fuel, good, radio, we're listening to Kemble. Beautiful day for some aviating. It's passing Swindon very soon. West Tisted traffic, Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha. Five miles to run for an overhead join from the north. So here's a mistake I just want to highlight actually, thanks to a chat for pointing this out on one of the Facebook pages. I'm talking on safety comms, so I should be ending the call with the airfield I'm talking to, as well as starting the call with that. So it should be West Tisted traffic, overhead for runway 23, West Tisted. That would be the best call. It's just to stop any confusion of anyone else also landing on a runway 23, a different airfield. It's fairly unlikely, but noted. It's a really good point. You do hear other people not doing it as well, so it's one of those things. Right, so... Sure, Boston traffic golf, uh, Victor Zulu's final. So we're uh, descending now. We're on a cruise descent. We're on the QFE for West Tisted. Mustn't clip that airspace. Cool. Fuel pump can come on. Landing light can come on. So, three minutes to your overheads. Keep descending. The thermals are getting stronger. Ride it out. West Tisted traffic, Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha, two miles to run. For an overhead join on runway 23. West Tisted traffic, Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha is overhead. For a join on 23. West Tisted traffic, Golf Charlie Alpha is final 23. Now, this is a nice 1,000 meter long runway at West Tisded, so I shouldn't have any problems, surely. I am a little bit high, but there's very little wind to slow me down and to help me lose altitude. You can tell I'm getting the excuses in here. Before now, I could have side-slipped a bit, maybe just reduced that power a bit earlier on and I wouldn't be so high. 
Wow, what an approach that is. It is a lovely approach. The thing is, of course, there's two mates of mine who are here filming. An ex uh, you want to be down at the numbers and cruising, don't you? But look at me float on by. <laughs> there they are. That was awesome. That was absolutely brilliant fun. In terms of rating West Hisdead as an airfield, absolutely sublime. It's a shame the pub at the end of the runway was shut, but we'll be coming back, absolutely. I can't remember the landing fee, five or ten pounds maybe. There's no facilities, but as you can see on a sunny day, you just can't beat it, really. Absolutely stunning. So with the landing fees paid, it was time to jump back in, head home to Cotswold Airport. So I've done all my checks and I've made my calls for a departure back to the north. I must shout out to Ben once again, Ben White. He's been in videos before. He's got a Sky Ranger. I'll link his Instagram now and his channel below. He went on to the, he did the stupendously long cross country of two nautical miles. He headed to Colmore Common. It's a micro -light airfield. As soon as he left West Tisdead, he had to announce that he was downwind for the next place. Made me laugh. West Tisdead traffic off South Romeo is departing downwind and uh, Colmore Common traffic off South Romeo joining the left base uh, 02 Colmore Common. Season please in the climb are good. Let me like it come off. Fuel pump could come off. So once we're into the cruise, Johnny, uh, who is at Steer With My Rear on Instagram and Twitter, he caught up with me and joined me on my left wing for a bit. It was my first experience of any kind of formation, not that I was doing anything. I was just holding a straight heading, but it was just so cool. <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> I'll do a nice breakaway in a second. <laughs> Very cool, mate. Very cool. Seriously great. He's pouring on the coals. <laughs> Very cool. So I'm about to hear the words that, frankly, no one ever wants to hear on the radio, especially when they're flying. And whilst it looks like I don't react, my mind goes into overdrive. Well, that was an experience. Yeah, boy. Popping radio, I've crashed. Roger, coming to you. And quite seriously, it is always obviously very alarming to hear that on the radio. I don't want to use too much info from the radio call, so I've chopped a lot of that out. It's not fair to highlight an individual, but I have since found out uh, that they were absolutely fine. It's worth pointing out, again, seriously, it's easy to get distracted by so many things whilst flying, especially when you hear a call like that go out. But, you know, aviate, navigate, communicate. I had to just do the job, and that was crack on and fly my plane. Jesus. Right, let's do a free to check then, so... Uh, fuel, goods, radio, with this to pop them. Engine temperatures and pressures, they're all in the green direction. We're routing direct for Campbell at the moment. Altitude, but we're on the uh, QNH. Fuel pumps coming on. Landing lights coming on. Campbell traffic, Golf Kilo, Foxtrot, Charlie Alpha is entering the zone from the south. We're down, we join on runway 26. So, on to Campbell then. The big question could it be a less floaty landing than last time? No. Not really, to be honest. <laughs> Nose up to the flaps. 
There we go. Campbell traffic, Golf Kilo, Fox Trot, Charlie Alpha is final on 2 6 Graph. Campbell traffic, Golf Golf India descending dead side uh, to join uh, crosswind 2 6 hard. Campbell traffic, Golf Uniform November on the North Apron, taxiing via Golf for the holding point 26. Thank you so much for watching. It always means so much that you do that and comment as well. Any questions or whatever, always welcome below. Hit subscribe as well so I can grow the channel. Coming up, Daisy and I take the Eurostar to tell Weston and manage to keep up with Johnny's RV6. I also head to Brown Shutters Farm and attempt to land on the shortest runway I've ever been to. And I've been working on a video for the British Microlight Aircraft Association, the BMAA, which involves a full check flight by my instructor in the Kemble Flying Club Sky Ranger, which is pretty interesting. Nice one. Thank you for watching.